What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode I'm gonna be talking about five more plugins for Adobe XD that I super love and how I use them in my design workflow. I'm really excited to share five more that I enjoy, so let's get started. All right, jumping right in, we have an artboard and a really simple shape, a square on my screen. And this happens a lot while I'm designing. I don't know about you, maybe it's just me. A lot of times I'll be drawing rectangles and somewhere along the lines, for whatever reason, during my design process, I realize I wanna try this shape out as a full width or full height of the artboard uh, or the canvas that I'm working on. And so you could just, you know, manually stretch the whole thing out and try to like line it up perfectly, but you know, maybe you're clumsy grabbing corners like me, it's not the best. And so a great plugin that's just called Fitting to Artboard allows you to fit to the artboard both width and height and it comes with a great hotkey for the width so I could fit it by height by pressing there and then by using the hotkey of command shift and n I fit the width as well that's fit to artboard great plugin the next plugin allows you to do something really really great which is work with maps maps can be kind of a pain in the butt a lot of times you have to go out you have to take a screenshot of a map bring it back mask the whole thing in Ugh, it can be kind of a pain just in the rear end but if we just choose whatever shape like the full size shape we have here go to our plugins and go to maps generator it's gonna bring up this whole interface and I can type in Honolulu Hawaii check the zoom level and I can press enter and it's gonna drop an image like already created image of a map in Honolulu which is super nice there's a lot of options in there I'll let you explore for yourself but it makes working with maps much much easier all right, next up on the list is another organizational tool that's gonna save you so much time. You can see that I have these three layers here, one, two, and three, or these three art boards, excuse me, and maybe I wanna give them a better name. Well, one of my favorite plugins is Rename It. I can rename all selected layers, or I can find and replace certain things in the name. In this case, I'm just gonna rename all my selected layers to uh, iOS dash design dash and then I'm going to give it a number sequence ascending maybe descending maybe I give it an alphabet sequence whatever I rename it and bam all of my artboards have been renamed I can also do this with individual elements not just artboard that is rename it love this plugin so much the next plugin that I love allows you to enter faces into shapes really really easily and it's called UI faces UI faces allows you to go to the plugin menu or over to the actual plugin panel which I really love in Adobe XD open up UI faces and then dictate exactly what you want that face to be. Maybe I want to get this from Unsplash. Maybe I want it to be a female. And maybe as we've entered a face into our shape, it was really, really that simple. This is especially awesome when you do this with multiple shapes at the same time. I grab all of these shapes. I can uncheck everything so it's just completely randomized. There's no dictating of the types of faces or where they come from. And UI Faces is gonna go out and fill all of those shapes for me really, really quickly. Just super nice, really speeds up your workflow. I use this at the starts of projects, throughout the middle of it as I'm building those types of screens. It's just really, really beneficial and helpful. All right, last up on the list and one of my all-time favorite plugins for Adobe XD is Google Sheets. This allows you to work with real-time data inside of your designs. So you can see over here I have a Google Sheet that has just some sample information and I want to access this information in my design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shareable link for my Google Sheet. I'm gonna head back over to my design. I'm gonna grab this entire row of uh, content, these text boxes that I have here. I'm gonna open up Google Sheets in the plugin menu and I'm gonna paste the public link right there. I'm gonna press continue and it's gonna allow me to map these text boxes over to um, any of the kind of columns that I have set up in my Google Sheet. So I'm gonna access that full name column. I'm gonna press apply and you can see it's dropped all of those names into my, like all of those like text boxes. So I can do that with all of these. Now we have real information that's being pulled into our design and the coolest thing is if I was to, you know, update uh, this name and have it stop saying Jesse Showalter, but maybe Jesse, I don't know, Lopez or something like that. I've gone ahead and I've updated this Google Sheet. I can come back in here and I can refresh the content. And you can see now it's drawing in the name Jesse Lopez instead of Jesse Showalter. This is real time data that's happening inside of Adobe XD. I use this throughout my project for real-time data, allow people to collaborate with me, people that don't need to have access to design files, 
Um, I don't want to give them those permissions and kind of access to it. I also use this as kind of my own filler content. So if I have things that are lining up like this, um, all of these now rows make sense. I can grab all three of these and drop these into some sort of design, maybe a card, maybe a profile design, and it all feels randomized, feels good. I just, it's an easy way to do it, um, to give yourself your own customized auto-generated kind of content. So uh, that's Google Sheets. It's absolutely amazing and I love it. Well, that's it. Those are five more plugins for Adobe XD that I love and that I use in my design workflow. Which ones did I miss? Which ones do you like that I didn't even get a chance to talk about today? I'd love to hear about those down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I do a lot of stuff about design and development and tools just like this video, so hopefully you'll stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments as well. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things making amazing things and using the right tools for the job. I'll see you in the next one.